Well, I would like to welcome everyone to our special meeting today of the U.S. Meeting for our high school board. I can stay home to all the new faces out there and look forward to a great meeting today. With that, I would entertain a motion for the ordering and approval of the agenda as presented. So, thank you, Diane. I have a second. Thank you, Sally. All in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you so much. Our first item for today for discussion and consideration is uh, to interview potential Board of Education members. I'd like to welcome John Bishop, Beth Clark, and Brandy Ross. And if you would each like to come up and have a seat at one of the tables. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, we are going to ask you a few questions each. Sally will start and we'll move uh, down to have you answer the questions and then we will go somewhere. So, Sally, on that. Let me start. All right. How should the school board promote community community involvement? Um, I think the first first thing in this challenging day of many platforms for communication is to utilize all of them that you can. You know, the Facebook, your websites, newspaper for those of us that still read newspapers, uh, radio, and promote the idea that great strength of any community is their education system and that making it stronger through community investment is also say good economic development but I think you have to use all platforms Um, I think that makes a huge difference. Um, I've stayed where 
I'm, I've, I've been employed with NECAP for almost 20 years and there have been times when I'm like, I don't know why I do this because it's, I'm not gonna get rich off of it, but it is purely for the enjoyment of watching kids that maybe you've had when they were three and now they're graduating high school or graduating college. Um, and then when you see success stories as far as families that have really done well, have moved up, you know, different types of, of ladders and stuff. But it, it makes a difference in, in seeing where you're at and feeling like you're a part of something. Thank you. Clark, um, how can the board help attract and retain the best possible employees for this district? I think supporting educators and teachers and making them feel like someone is there to hear what they have to say and, and stand their ground. I know sometimes we as parents like our way, but sometimes the educator does know best and they need to feel like they have that support behind them. And you have to have a competitive salary to, to get the good ones so they can get a job in here. All right. Um, yeah, I think part of the problem, I mean, is to have as healthy and friendly and engaging an atmosphere as possible for the employees. They understand that the board is there to help them do their job. And another way to help understand that morale is to try to address the policy issues that come down from the state board or the legislature <laughs> uh, to address the problems that do come down from above that make a difficult, challenging work environment. I mean, I had a son-in-law who worked mostly in the Missouri system for many years, worked in the Kansas system for a couple of years and said two years in the Kansas system was equivalent to four years in the Missouri system. So, I mean, addressing the policy issues that, and to let them know that you're fighting to address those issues as well as creating the healthy work environment locally. Thank you so much. Uh, Beth, I'll start with you on this one. Um, do you have a statement you would like to make before the conclusion of this interview? So many statements. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, I feel like I have a strong background in education. I'm very involved in, I only have children in the elementary school, but I'm very involved there. Um, I enjoy knowing the children and knowing the families. And even in the recent weeks with all the turmoil and things going on, people trying to decide, I've actually had a couple parents reach out to me and say, so what do you feel? You're in the school, you know how the day goes. What do you think? How's this gonna work? And so I feel confident that I have that insight of being a teacher and being a substitute and, and but also knowing the families and, and having that connection. So John, I'll go to you for that question. Um, do you have any statement you would like to make before the conclusion of this interview? No, well, I, I think I've been around a whole long time and long involved in a whole lot of experiences in this community. Uh, I've been a city commissioner, county commissioner, I've been on the library board, you know, start Habitat for Humanity, I've been on the tree board. I understand how working as a board can get things done. And I think I bring uh, you know, a deep background in that also have a background in social work, worked in psychiatric hospitals, uh, and I've run my own business for 23 years. So I understand how things work. Thank you. And Brandy, do you have a statement you would like to make about just about anything. Um, 
because I'm also that person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> um, but I'm also one that, um, although I have an opinion, I've never been one to act on, like, you know, to be a part of something. So, you know, my dad has always said, you know, if you're going to complain about it or you're going to, you know, have these ideas and these statements, you need to be involved. And so, um, of course, he, he waits until he's 70 to be involved in the community. Um, so I figured what better time than to, uh, <laughs> to do it a little 25 years earlier. So um, I, just, I just feel like, you know, my kids have, I graduated from Atchison High. I have two daughters that have graduated and I have one that is a sophomore. And um, I just feel like I guess it's time for me to, to be a part of something to help make a change. Thanks to all three of you for being here and allowing us to visit with you, but now it is your turn to uh, ask us some questions. So we'll start with John, and uh, you have the opportunity to ask uh, questions of us, ask the board as a whole, an individual board member, or the superintendent. So uh, any questions for any of us? Are you totally happy and, and comfortable with your opening plan for the school year. Who would you like to address that? Well, I think Renee is. I feel like our opening plan truly gets voice and choice to parents. And I think that the spring and fall and summer are going to be very important teachers with this plan? So I've been meeting regularly with teachers. In fact, the latest one, the latest meeting was this morning at 8 a.m. And um, voluntary, you know, teachers aren't on contract, but 148 of them showed up for the meeting. So I feel like our teachers are not in the dark about the plan. Do they have fears? Absolutely. As with every parent, as do I. Um, but uh, I would say that No, I think that. Thank you for your question. Brandy, what questions would you like to ask as the board as a whole, individual board members, or the superintendent? Um, I guess I really don't have any questions at this time. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I agree, you know, I'm, I'm sure all staff are probably a little nervous, you know, to go back with all these changing Screen. Thank you for warming up there. 
Okay, so this is our notice of hearing. We'll go through um, a few items on here, just briefly overview the budget. And then we will ask your permission to do a budget hearing later on in the month. Here's the preview of the budget. Okay, so the first, the four major funds I'm going to go over are meal money funds. These funds came both of our other funds in terms of revenue sources, so that's why we're mainly focusing on these four funds. And they are our mill levy funds. In terms of red fund side is our general fund. So our savings and main fund of our operating accounts. Uh, this year our legal maximum was twelve point five two million. We have reimbursements of almost eighty eight thousand. So our total general fund is twelve million six hundred and eight thousand for the year being completed out of the two thirty. Now, when I was building the budget, we usually based it on um, what we think we'll get at the end of September count date. So I estimated that at 12,888,000. But the numbers could go up. In order to give ourselves the full authority or the ability to receive those funds and extend those funds this year, um, Dale Dennis from the State Department asked that you put in a little more FTE than what you had last year. Because even last year, we went quite a bit more than what we were expecting. And since we did that last year, we were able to receive the funds and I actually published the budget. So this year, I'm um, putting in a published general fund of $13,117,000. Any questions about the difference between those numbers? general fund is the most you can do without an election and at that point you can go up to 33 percent we are currently at 30 and the budget is built off 30 that i'm presenting to you the legal max at the 1920 year was audited at 3.8 million uh, i think we'll be at 3.891 million but with the additional general fund going up we also have to publish a higher supplemental general fund and that's going to be at 3 million nine hundred sixty two thousand any questions Okay. This is the summary of our general and LOB. Again, this, these are our main sources of operating revenue. So from last year to this year, based on about the same FTE, I'm estimating we'll get an additional $323,000 in those two funds. The main reason for that is the base data for people went up. Our capital outlay fund, this is um, a five mil levy. This is the maximum we have at the time. You can go up to eight mil levies. Um, I think we will look at that in the future at some point, but for now I'm just recommending we stay at the five. We use this for maintenance on our buildings. And again, our buildings are getting older. We put the apple leaves in here. This will definitely be something we might want to look at sooner rather than later. But for this budget, it will be at five mils. Just propose the five mils. The last one we're going to talk about is bond and interest. This fund can only be paid or used for paying off your bonds, the principal and interest that is associated with it each year. Can't do anything else with it. That's it. Okay. The mill every history. You can see it spiked pretty good when we got cut back in the early teen years. That's all 13, 13, 14. Those were some lean years, if you'll remember. But the budget for this year, even though we are getting more money, our mill levy will go down about 0.6 mills. I think it's actually 0.595, if I remember correctly. 
So great news, I think, overall for the budget. Our, our expense valuation went up, with, which helped with the mill levy decrease. Base state acre people went up. Overall, I think it went really well, and I'm happy with how it came out. Any overall questions about the budget? If not, we will schedule the budget hearing, which we already have done, and it will go in the newspaper. Will you put this will go in the newspaper advertising our budget hearing. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. You know, we were able to balance the budget very well. Dale Dennis always gives us compliments when we were in your late red meeting with him. And, but a lot of that is wrong because in a time of COVID, <laughs> expenses are coming like crazy. And she has the work to help figure out what problems we can use. Um, but she has a system of, of not just making those decisions on her own. So, um, kudos to her because this is not an easy task and the turnaround time is always so tight. This is the shortest window in a long time she's had to prepare her budget. And a lot of that is based on, you know, determining some of the cures funding that we may or may not get and then what we may need to lose out of here. And so, um, so this is going to be a very interesting year for budgets. And, uh, but after our meeting with Dale, I felt very confident in his advice. I will point uh, out there that you agree with budget. If you look at line 35, that's where we have grant funds. We are estimating a significant increase in there because that's where the care money and any support money we have to go through. So I estimated it high. So we do receive money from the county where we can have the opportunity for care money. That's where that can go through. It's not high enough. We can't have it. Okay? So this is going to the budget. That's why it's so much higher. Okay? Thank you, Thank you guys. Appreciate it. So much. Guys, such a good group. Everyone in this district is so all the way around the way. So next is our action items. And on our first um, action item, um, we are appointing a new board member. And on behalf of all of us at USB 409, I really wish to thank and commend the three of you for your interest in our open board member position. It's not an easy job, but your willingness to show the community and school engagement is really honorable, and I thank you for that. This will not be an easy decision for us because you're all wonderful. I encourage all of you, whether you're appointed or for the appointed for the position or not, to please continue to get involved with our schools through committee work and other opportunities. And again, I just want to thank you very much for your application. And with that being said, I call for a nomination to fill our vacant Board of Education seat. Howard? It's a nomination. It's a nomination, and we'll have a second, and then we'll discuss it's a motion. Motion, right. Motion. Uh, I would uh, point uh, Dale is there a second? Stephanie, second. Thank you very much. And any discussion? I, I would like to say that, uh, you know, we had two, three very strong candidates. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've got a lot of feedback from the community. And uh, I encourage uh, everyone to apply and run in a, this next school board election because I think. We couldn't go wrong with any choice here. Um, and like I said, I've put a lot of thoughts into this. And I know each one of you guys personally, and you, you would be great. But I've gotten a lot of feedback, and um, you know, my motion. Is there any other discussion? One of the things that I appreciated about, the, well, appreciate the experience that all three of our candidates brought, brought to us in different areas, but I really like Brandy's experience in leadership and in early childhood education, and thought that was a wonderful uh, uh, contribution to the school. And I just, um, yeah, the same as Sean and Diane, uh, I just really appreciate the fact that 
you know, she's been on site council for years. Two of her children have recently graduated from Hutchinson High. She has a third in high school. Um, I think that that can give us a lot of uh, experience from her, but also maybe a different perspective on things we need to look at. Um, because it's always good to have somebody whose um, experience has been different than yours. I, I really think all three candidates bring a lot to the table and we, we had uh, you know tough choices and, and there is there will be a time when there will be turnover and so for those candidates that may not get selected today I would really encourage you to throw your name in the hat in the future uh, as those of us fall, go off the board there will be opportunities and so even if you're not appointed today please stay engaged and uh, I encourage you to attend board meetings, learn more about us, and then, then you're in a position to be prepared to get on the board when the election time comes. So that's all. Thank you. Can you just for those who are listening and those present, if you want this position when it starts and when it ends? Okay, they will uh, come on our board Monday. We will have training for them and sign their um, memorandum. Not memory, yes, on that day, and then it's a year and a half. That, and then the next election, they will, you know, choose to run or choose to get off, but they do run in the next election. It's a year and a half term, it completes the numbers. No, 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 it's the next to the next election. It's filling PMC, but not for a whole term, right, right. it's just to the next election. Right, so that's a year and a half away. Okay. Is there any other discussion? So let's put that to a vote, please. All in favor of Brandy Ross becoming our next board member, raise your right hand. All in favor, 100% uh, says aye. So thank you very much for that. And thank you both very much for your time and energy. I look forward to working with you as well in the future. Um, next item on our on our agenda is the authorization and publication of a budget and established budget hearing. Go ahead. Madam President, I move that we uh, do authorize publication of the budget and uh, we've already established the budget hearing tentatively to go forward with that as proposed. Which is Friday, August 21st. Friday, August 21st. Thank you. I have a second. Thank you, Diane. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, raise your right hand. Passes unanimously. Now it is time to enter into executive session. And do you have that? Does somebody have that to read? I can, I can please do, Stephanie. Yeah. Thank you. Ms. President, I move that the board recess into an executive session to discuss the following subjects negotiations. The justification for this executive session is to discuss employer employee negotiations, whether or not in consultation with the representative or representatives of the body or agency pursuant to the exception for employer employee negotiations under KOMA. The open meeting will reserve resume in the Board of Education community room at 1240 p.m. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Pass it unanimously. Watch the board slide. Sean, we can help you all right up and sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then those who come, who have the idea that they want to come at five days, offer them an opportunity to talk to their kids. They'd be like, yes, within reason. Yes. Within reason. Yeah.
Thank you so much. All in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you, everyone. Have the best rest of the day. Create a great weekend for yourself. And make a memory. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank